Suicidal thoughts and depression are serious, and if you feel that you need help, please call 1-800-273-8255. That's 1-800-273-TALK, T-A-L-K. Once again, 1-800-273-8255. TALK, T-A-L-K. Guys, welcome back to Thy Kingdom Come and Ladija's Creations. Today I'm going to be talking to you all about some heavy subjects. One is suicidal thoughts, and then the other one is depression. My heart is very heavy today. On Friday, the CEO of a company that I retired from committed suicide. I didn't know him personally, but I don't have to know people to feel for them and to feel for their family and the thought that they may have been dealing with or go, just whatever situations they may have been going through at the time. My heart is heavy. And he committed suicide at a station that I used to work at. And the station name is the same name of the place where I grew up. So it kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it feels like it's related. It had not, not related, but had some relation to me. And... <clears throat> my heart just goes out to him it, and his family because I don't know, we don't know what what state of mind people be in when they are thinking even to commit something like this. And like I said, my heart just goes out to him and his family. Um, from my understanding, he had a wife and two daughters, and I can just imagine how they are feeling right about now. And then on top of that, you 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 question whether or not they had any signs. Were there any signs for him? Being in that state of mind and nobody paid any attention to it. Did people just not notice? Um, not only just his family, but people that he had to be around. This type of situation just makes you wonder and it makes you question what was going on. Did they not notice? You just wonder. You're not judging. You're just wondering. During 2019, there was a young lady also who committed suicide that used to attend the same church that I did. And it, it just it just made me wonder. Like I said, you wonder and you question what is going on in their mind. Um, are there not signs that people are just not paying attention to? But I know... Nowadays, a lot of people walk around with smile on their faces when they're internally going through so much pain and turmoil and they're deal, dealing with different types of spirits that are just taking hold of them. I won't try and I'm as a matter of fact, I'm going to be transparent here. Many, many years ago, I was in a very dark place. The place was so dark that. I thought about committing suicide myself. I knew that I wouldn't, but I thought the thoughts were there. And if we're not careful, we can actually end up in the same place that they did. Thank God that I used to always tell myself that whenever I felt low or in a deep starting to get into a depressed state, I would tell myself that there was a scripture in the Bible that I learned so many years ago that I've always used. And the scripture was, those that keep their mind stayed on God, them will he keep in perfect peace. And I used to always tell myself perfect peace of mind, body, soul, and spirit. And I would just concentrate on just that scripture up all by itself alone. And oftentimes when I was in that dark place, that dark state of mind, it was sometimes difficult to get my mind back onto something positive, such as that scripture. But when I felt my mind drifting off of it, off of the thought of God keeping me, I would have to put my mind back on God. I had to keep focusing on the truth of God's word. And that's what helped me. Because the devil, 
he is cunning. He 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 will get you at your lowest. He will make you feel like you are nothing. He will start telling you you don't like yourself. Don't nobody else like you. Um, don't nobody want to be around you. Um, you're toxic. This X, Y, and Z. And if we're not careful to keep our minds on God's word during these difficult times, Satan will have us believe in those things about ourselves. And even though we know that we're none of those things, we will begin to believe them. I'm just going to go ahead and do this disclaimer. I'm no professional. I'm not a doctor in the field of mental health. I'm not a doctor, period. These are all my personal opinions. And if I mention something that I did or if I mention something that works for me, I'm just sharing what worked for me. So if you think that is something that can work for you or help you in difficult times, by all means, see if it'll work for you. But once again, I'm not a doctor. And when I say mental health, I'm not referring to it like it's some type of mental issue. I'm only referring to it as our mental state of mind. I know that depression and suicidal thoughts are and can be very serious. So if you feel that you need immediate help, please call the National Suicide Hotline at 1-800-273-8255. That's 1-800-273-TALK. T-A-L-K or 8255, 1-800-273-TALK or 8255. Call them and get the help that you need. Because if no one tells you this, that they love you, believe me when I say I love you and you're worthy of seeing and living to see the next day, the next moment, the next second, the next hour. It may be difficult right now, but hold on. Don't make a permanent decision over a temporary situation. Because when I tell you that I had those thoughts many, many years ago, I had those thoughts. And when I look back now, had I not put my mind back on the Lord and allowed him to bring me out of that dark space, when I look back now, I, you can't help but to wonder what kind of turmoil this would have brought into my family's life um get the help that you need that's all i'm saying get the help that you need even if it's just commenting down below in the comment section below this video reach out to somebody cry out talk like it says in that that number talk t-a-l-k talk talk to somebody Y'all, we have to stop living in this fake world that we live in where people don't speak to each other. They don't talk to each other. They're into these devices. And, you know, my friend Ralph, he talks about how things were created to be used and people were created to be loved. But it's the opposite where people are being used and things are being loved. We got to get back to loving each other. We got to get back to caring for each other. We don't want to become a faceless inhumane type people we want to be people who care for each other we need to be if we don't want to be we need to be I'm just going to share a few things that I had wrote down um, during this time this difficult time for me right now um, where I was thinking about the CEO who committed suicide one look up Ask God to help to strengthen you and to keep you. Like I said with that scripture, those that keep their mind stayed on him, them will he keep in perfect peace. Tell yourself peace of mind, body, soul, and spirit and believe it. And if you feel that your mind is coming off of that thought, of that word, put it right back on it. Put it right back on it until it's no longer an issue in your mind. Calm your mind. That's a part of calming your mind, what I just said. Meditation. You know, the word of God tells us to meditate upon his word. And that is what keeps us when we meditate upon God's word. If you all have not gotten into God's word, go ahead and take this time to start. Just You can pull it up on your phone if you don't have a Bible. I use the Bible Gateway, which is the King James Version of the Bible online. 
You can pull up the word of God there. You can even type in something that's on your mind as far as a scripture is concerned, as far as something that in the word of God and just meditate upon that. And like I said, those that keep their mind stayed on him, then will he keep in perfect peace, taking focus on the good. Focus on the fact that you can see, you can taste, you can smell, you can feel, you can walk. Focus on the good that's going on in the world. I know that there's a lot that is not good, but there is something that's good. Even if it's just the fact that God woke you up this morning. Begin to create a universe where there's love, joy, and peace abiding in your mind. It doesn't have to abide in no one else's mind, but yours. Create your own universe. Think positive. Replace negative thoughts with positive thoughts. Even if it's nothing but looking at what's around you. Look at the birds flying. Begin to create your own reality. Because everything begins with an idea that starts in our minds. We have the power to create our realities by ideas that God has placed on the inside of us that we need to begin to nurture. Pretty much everyone knows Tyler Perry and his story of how he was homeless and now how he's what, a billionaire, trillionaire? We have to learn that situations that we're in are supposed to build our muscles and make us stronger. We're supposed to learn something from every situation that we experience in life. Now, Tyler Perry could have stayed on the corner of homelessness. He could have stayed in his mind and stayed on that corner. But he began to use the power of thoughts. He began to use the power of ideas. He set out to make a plan to come up out of homelessness. He probably had to beg, but he knew that in his heart of heart, he had an idea. And he knew that it, if he had to beg to get to some point, because something had to take place there. I don't know his whole story, but something had to take place in his mind where he made the decision that I'm homeless now, but I'm coming up off this corner. I'm homeless now, but I'm going to use my ideas. I'm going to use my thoughts and I'm going to create something from this. Trust me when I tell you, when you begin to do something, when you begin to take a step towards doing something, God will step in and show you the way. The word of God tells us to write the vision and to make it plain. I believe that scripture is there so that we will begin to see it first after we have envisioned it. That's seeing it in your mind. The next thing he said, write it down. Writing it down is where we're supposed to begin the planning stages of it. And that's where I believe that we're supposed to pray the scripture back to God and say, God, you told me to write it down and you told me to make it plain. So now, Lord, I don't know how to make it happen. But, Lord, I'm going to put this ink to paper and trust that you're going to lead me and guide me and show me how to accomplish this. And, Lord, just lead and guide me through the process and then get busy through research, talking to people, sharing ideas, looking at videos, maybe even here on YouTube, as to how to accomplish that in which you're trying to set out to do. We all have a purpose in this life. Begin to journal to gather your thoughts and to figure out what your purposes are. But overall, I'm going to recap some of the things that I've said. And I want to impress upon this right here. I am not a doctor. I am not a doctor. But some of the things that I mentioned was to look up and to ask God to help to strengthen and keep you. Another thing I said was to calm your mind, meaning to kind of capture your thoughts when you realize that you're having uh, negative thoughts. Calm your mind and replace it with something good, a good thought, a good situation. Just, just something that's going to take and make you think about something else other than what's going on in your mind right there at that point in time. Another thing I said was to meditate on God's word, especially this scripture that keeps me. Those that keep their minds stayed on God, then will he keep in perfect peace. Notice that it says stayed on. 
because when your mind begin to fluctuate and begin to think about the negative, begin to take you to that dark place, you need to refocus and put your mind back on the fact that God is a keeper and that he will keep those who keep their mind stayed on him and he will keep them in perfect peace. And to me, that's in mind, body, soul and spirit. Focus on the good, because even though we are living in a time where everything just seems so negative, there is some good in the world. Even if it's just the sun came out or we're able to see the moon at night, we're able to taste, smell, hear, whatever. There is some good. Create your own universe where love, joy and peace abides. Your, Your universe is nothing more than your atmosphere where you are right now. And I've already said this. Reverse your thoughts. Replace your negative thoughts with good thoughts. Begin to be positive and begin to think good thoughts. Begin to do good for others. And then the last few things that I said was to take and write down your vision and to make it plain. I believe that if you were to write down your visions and you were to make it plain, you will begin to see your purpose. So I suggest that you get a journal. Start journaling. Go to... Dollar Tree and get your little notebook and start writing down ideas that is coming to your mind because that is what God gives us. He gives us ideas to take it from it being a vision in our mind, a thought in our mind. That idea is supposed to become, we're supposed to make that idea become something. Now on a much more serious note, if you feel that you need immediate help please call the National Suicide Hotline at 1-800-273-8255. That's 1-800-273-8255. 1-800-273-82-TALK-8255. But love is this time to go. I love you guys, and I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today and come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 and 21. Remember, guys, I love you guys. If no one tells you that today, know that I love you.